our family here at United Hospice of Athens gathered together and approached this year's Committed to Caring Challenge a little differently than previous years. We asked ourselves as if we were asking our patients, what can our family do for your family? Well, the simple answer really is that we are one family and what helps the patient helps us and what helps us in our job helps the patient. I felt like it was important, especially as a hospice nurse, to make sure that patients take their medications on time and, and be compliant with, with taking the medications. One of the most significant barriers to doing our job effectively is when we have a patient that doesn't have a designated or reliable caregiver. In these instances, patients often don't take their medication accurately, which affects their comfort, symptom management, and overall quality of life. The pill boxes really come in handy for these patients. They have alarms on them, um, and which reminds them when they need to take their pills. But I think this will be really good because I do forget. A lot of times I'll go to bed at night, and after I go to bed, I'll lay there for a while and I'll think, you know, I don't know whether I took that last pill or not. So I'll get up, hobble to the kitchen, and turn the light on, see what, what's in the thing. Oh, there's no more pills in there. I took it all back. I can go back to bed. But that's the only way I have to remind me. This alarm is also spectacular because if a patient doesn't press the red alarm acknowledge button, it will continue to ring for every five minutes until it's pressed. This system is loud, simple, organized, and is a great way to remind patients to take the medications they need for comfort. These pill boxes are very user friendly and include compartments for dividing medication among four different times of day. I believe it makes my job a lot easier because I'm not there all the time. I'm only there maybe twice a week. And when they take their medicines without me being there, I feel like they are gonna manage your symptoms a lot better. Therefore, I feel like I'm doing a better job for these patients and providing the care that they really do need. Additionally, without a dependable, consistent caregiver, oftentimes the basic physical needs of our patients are not met. With the rest of the money, we purchased several pairs of hospital socks and sets of hospital bed sheets. These are basic items that increase the comfort of our patients and cost extra money that sometimes our patients and their caregivers can't afford. The reason why I use my own money to purchase patients um, hygiene products is because when I leave from that patient home, I want that patient to feel special. Since dignity, respect, comfort, and a peaceful passing are fundamental to what we do here, it is just as much our responsibility to aid in meeting one's basic needs as the individual or caregivers. And for many, we are the sole caregivers, so the responsibility is even greater. Finally, we purchased 10 $25 Walmart gift cards. This last purchase is probably the second most significant purchase we could have made. It's impossible for a patient or loved one to go healthfully go through the dying and grieving process if they're hungry, if their home has a bug infestation, and if they're inadequately dressed. By having the gift cards, now we would be able to purchase um, hygiene products as well as any other essentials that patients may need. So, it was decided our 2014 Committed to Caring Challenge would focus on enhancing our capacity to serve as that caregiver to our patients and increase the likelihood that they take their medication properly, thus having symptoms and pain more managed, as well as providing ourselves with the resources to provide for our patients basic needs when they or their caregivers cannot do so themselves. Already, these items are making a difference for our patients and their families. For many patients, we are the only family they have, and for some patients who have families, they have very limited resources, so we play a vital role in their care and their lives. Their needs are our needs. Their family is our family, because we are one family united in making a difference. Uh, I've got some wonderful people working with me since the first time I started with all of you. It's just been wonderful. I couldn't ask for better care. <laughs>